Hello, welcome back to the Auto Intuitive channel. My name is Isaac, and yeah, I took the XM out again. The BMW XM. At this time, the most powerful, and the most expensive, and the most everything. Also size as well. Nothing's ever been bigger, and handles as good. So I have the engine on. This is a twin turbo hybrid. Uh, that's what the XM is, 650 horsepower. About, what, 650 torque as well? I believe the torque goes up much higher. But there's another one called the Label, which I've already delivered once, but never drove. That one's 201,000, this one's 168,000. But anyways, this is a true M car. So it has a mode called M mode, um, like the other M cars. But it also has a mode called M hybrid. Uh, which is unique to this vehicle for now until the M5 comes out. So, I learned something new today after my 30 minute drive. Oh, here's a, here's a side shot. Yeah, looks nice. Yep, yep. 23 inches. We're gonna get in. <sighs> Alright, make sure this is straight. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna turn off the hazards because it's annoying. So, the M, M mode is why I'm making this video. This mode, basically when you press it, on this screen it says road or sport. And in some cars it says track. Um, so, road keeps your driver assistance systems on, your frontal collision, your blind spot detection, which is there in your side mirror. You can see the triangle, the end of the side mirror. I always would like to show your frontal collision, stuff through your heads up display there. If you're going to hit something, um, yeah. So when you press M mode, like I did there, and you're in road, this gauge looks like this. This is the road view. So I'm going to change it to sport. Come on, keeps disappearing on me. Sport mode deactivates your driver assistance settings. Did you see that? So driver assistance settings and displays for the sporty driving, lane departure are all turned off. Um, so that's why this mode cannot be permanent after you turn off the car after 20 minutes it resets kind of like your driver system systems do in all BMWs and most of course modern cars one thing it changed since we went to sport is this gauge here so I had someone I spoke with today who has an M2 and he says he wants this gauge permanently and there's no way really that I know of to keep this gauge permanently because remember the other one looks like this. This is the traditional one. Kind of matches the normal cars except the blue and the red colors are because we're in an M car. And the lines are much sharper and bold, including the lettering, the numbers as well. But anyways, so if we go back, I'm going to hit the mode again. My mode right here. Takes us back. So we went back to road. Now we're going to go back to sport turns off all your driver system systems and it shows you there uh, where it put you in your setup where your setup is at puts it right up front for you if you're in four wheel drive four wheel drive sport DSC off your uh, fuel gauge and your battery gauge and there's your range so only the most important things come up one thing I tried to change when I was in this sport mode is I went to the four squares and I was trying to change the interior lighting in the car. So the interior lighting is tied to the M mode because you can't tell right now, the interior lighting is actually red. There we go, you can see it here. A little bit of dust there. Let's see, you can see it in the back. Ta-da, see that? Red theme. All right, so if I go to ambiance, and then I go to color, it will not let you change the interior lighting based on your driving mode, just to let you know. So let's go back to road. Now I have all my colors for the interior lighting. Um, let's go ahead and change it to, what color is cool? Let's change it to indigo just so we're opposite of the interior. There we go. All right, so we learned something new today. 
that you could have two different kinds of displays up here and also when you do change the display your heads-up display as you can see here let's see can I zoom in oh I can there we go sorry about the bushes so we'll go back to the normal one that's your standard display and it's not blinking it's because we're through a camera and we go to sport and that gives you a sport display like a rev counter see it there okay learn something new today thank you for joining and that cannot be permanent because it's tied to your driver assistance systems even though it's a much simpler uh, cluster thank you for joining and until next time